Prince Harry questioned for financially cut off claim amid annual royal finance reports. Prince Harry has been questioned over his choice of language after he said the royal family literally cut me off financially. As it emerged he received a substantial sum from Prince Charles after stepping down as a senior royal. The Duke of Sussex told Oprah Winfrey in March, the Netflix deal was suggested by somebody else by the point of where my family literally cut me off financially, and I had to afford security for us. They cut me off, in the first quarter of 2020. But I've got what my mum left me, and, without that, we would not be able to do this. However, a senior Clarence House spokesperson told the BBC Harry received a substantial sum from Prince Charles after his decision to leave the royal family. The Prince of Wales annual review showed funding for activities for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with £4.4 million assigned to the heading. It is not clear how much of this went to the Sussexes, but the spokesperson insisted they were funded up to the summer of 2020. They said, as we'll all remember in January 2020 when the Duke and Duchess announced that they were going to move away from the working family. The Duke said they would work towards being financially independent. The Prince of Wales allocated a substantial sum to support them with this transition. That funding ceased in the summer of last year. The couple are now financially independent. Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and features Daily Mirror Royal Editor Russell Myers. Mr. Myers said these latest comments are potentially at odds with what Harry told Oprah Winfrey, that his family cut him off financially in the first quarter of 2020. However, a spokesperson for the Sussexes said there was no contradiction, because the timelines were different. They said, you are conflating two different timelines and it is inaccurate to suggest there is a contradiction. The Duke's comments during the Oprah Winfrey interview were in reference to the first quarter of the fiscal year which starts in April. The same date the transitional year the Sandringham Agreement began and that is in alignment with the Clarence House accounts.